W's. How you feeling? How's that? Y'all just got a bag tonight. How are you feeling? I'm gonna take it back all the way to the draft. I think it's all about drafting people that can actually like kind of mesh well together and shit looking back at it now clearly it was the right decision that's Makes for sense. sure <laughs> so i think sure. the the best part is like everybody kind of stepped up to the plate to do exactly what we needed them to do and that's why we won as a team so we was talking about it on, on the ride we all rode together every time we rode back and forth to the gyms together we talked about our competition we talked about we ate together how we think we're gonna match we up together. everything <laughs> we did everything together we did everything as a team and we won as a team Mm-hmm. Took care of business. A lot of the teams had powerhouses, and you, know, you had the last pick. In the first round, you were last, and then you got this this dog right here, and then I, I was last. I mean, we're all just last picks almost, other than you. People were saying we're OD. We just play well with each other. That's it. Um, I got carried. <laughs> I got carried <laughs> this weekend, this season. You feel nah. me? But. No, no I just, that's not true. Just yeah, true. I'm just trolling, out man. Every I'm just game. trolling, man. I'm just trolling. Listen, I'm just, y'all know what I bring. I think I just proved that in season seven, season eight, season nine. So I just feel like y'all know what I bring to a team aspect. I feel me. I know where I need to work on in the one, stuff like that. But in the team aspect, I feel like Spring will pick me first because he knows he's going to get a dog no matter what. Really, just much respect to all my boys that's on my team for real. Because I don't think a lot of people expected this team to even go to the championship. We made it, we just came up short. I feel like if we was fully healthy, it'd be a different ball game. Other than that, man, season nine was a movie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling a little under the weather right now, but I just wanna say shout out to my guys, man, especially Scar and Cam, you know what I'm saying? Like, we put a lot on them due to some Kamari being hurt, and then the past couple of days I've been under the weather, you know what I'm saying? We was asking a lot from them, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna give a shout out to them guys, and you feel me? Give them their flowers for sure. I feel like we played well. I did my job, I played my role, so I'm happy I, I got to step up, you know. The guys put a little bit of faith and trust in me not to make any bad decisions for the most part. Uh, shout out to Draco, he played through his sickness the whole time, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Kamari, you played till you couldn't no more, you feel me? Shout out to my boy Ken for sure. We held shit down for real. Mm -hmm. And I'm just glad that we was all together. I wanna shout out these guys for sure for battling adversity because what happened with our team, I don't feel like people could honestly do what they did you know you're asking scar and cam to play all these games like this back to back right here some people would have folded them like man or oh, i'm tired they play every game they play every game like it was the first the first game you know shout out to draco draco out there damn near about to die I, i'm worried but i'm like hey he's stumbling a little bit but he's still out there giving his all you know that just shows the the the, uh, his character for one, it shows his character that he can go out there and still play. I enjoy my time here, you know, it's a new experience for me. I ain't never get to come to the next chapter, but being here was dope, going to war with everybody, staying in the same house and trying to stay focused and being with, like, you know what I'm saying? Because when you with a bunch of guys, you in a, you in a brotherhood, so it feels like a brotherhood whether you're going at it or not. It, 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 don't, it don't get real until you get to that gym. It was just dope, man, seeing all the creators in one space and being around each other and how to see how everybody's a fucking dog, so. It's just, it was it was dope. I enjoyed myself. Win, lose, or draw. I feel like the talent was just crazy this season. Like the competition, everybody was looking crazy. Everybody hitting shots. That shit it was just like, it felt like, like he said, everybody's a dog. It felt like every game could go either way. Season went well. I've been around these guys for quite some time now. Each time we're together, it's always a movie. The competition was definitely by far the best I've seen on Next Chapter. Shout out to my guys. Fortunately, we didn't get the dub, but I would definitely go to war with them again. It ain't all just highlights. We went through ups and downs each series. This is really no joke. It's really hoopers who really are trying to compete and, you know, build their brand and make a name for themselves, so. Just blessed, have fun. Like they said, we went against some of the top guys. Um, it's competitive on each game. Yeah, we would like to win, but I mean, again, like I said, it's, a, it's either a blessing or a lesson. The way my team played, like, I wouldn't trade nobody or, like, you know what I'm saying, change nothing. It's just a few possessions, I would say, bro. Misses and makes that decided it for us, but I think overall, bro, we played well. Like, we have no egos, you know what I'm saying? The season, I don't know, bro. It was tough. A lot of good games in there. I feel like every game we played, two or three maybe. Everything else was like a five point spread, and it, you know, point is different. So. Being the first time in the season and on this channel, uh, it was great. You know, I, I came in here and wanted to show everybody that I'm not just a dunker, 
I mean, I could do more than just do that. And I definitely proved myself. This whole experience with the next chapter is something a hooper, any hooper, a dream of. You get paid to hoop, you get the great bump with dogs every, every game. One thing about it, like when I'm sitting on the sideline, I almost fall into that like fan perspective. Like, damn, this shit didn't, this shit good basketball fan. just to watch. <laughs> like, I don't even want to miss a play, you know. That's a fact. These your bros, but shit, I'm fans of them. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It was I'm good to play y'all. Moon, <laughs> be close with Rob, then free going to court for the first time I really get to play against him. It's a dope experience all around. The hospitality, like Tricky mentioned, is amazing. Top notch. Luxury, presidential, they've been saying it, you know, it's all that. I'm satisfied with my team and stuff. I feel like, yeah, this was one of like the best seasons that I've been a part of. Challenging to come and compete at a high level, especially when you're playing the same guys all the time, you know what I'm saying? So then they learn to pick up on little moves you like to do. They get to watch you play certain other guys. So then when it's your time to play that person, you kind of just watch exactly what he want to do. So. It's a bunch of good players in here. It's getting better, bro, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, every game coming down to the wire. Yeah. I feel like the Raiders made everything interesting. Everybody started, you know what I'm saying, trying to play better and stuff, probably trying to boost their ratings and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the Raiders helped it out, for real. Give, give you like a little edge on your yeah, show. Like, like, I want to go up in the rankings. <laughs> I'm trying to get the 99, for real. <laughs> Keep the Raiders, for sure. We like the Raiders, y'all. Yeah. We should let the fans rate. It was just incredible to me. Like, I watched just a group of guys just compete for $10,000, and it was just amazing to just be a part of it. We could have played a little harder. We could have, you know, did a couple things differently, but all in all, so I was happy to just be here and compete. This is my first time, like my first actual exposure to the next chapter and what it was all like. People can say the phrase like, this is not sweet or the shit is not sweet. I think this like season nine, I think really defined that. I think especially for me, like I really experienced that. It was cool to be out here on a different level than what I'm used to, but I absolutely loved that. I had a great time. And obviously like, like Fami said, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to, but uh, I think we built something and the next chapter as a whole is really building something really special for the basketball community. So. I'm blessed to be a part of it and you know help it grow any way I can too. It was a good experience, you know. We fell short. I wish we would have came out with a dub, you know. Go home with that money. We're gonna be alright. We're gonna shake back next season for sure. Competitive means didn't go the way we wanted it to go. Live and you learn, man. Sure. Live another day. Season nine overall, I feel like was a what a was a pretty decent season because even with our losses we all played hard and we were still able to come together and uh, try to handle business for sure. It was a little different. I never really played any like tag team one on ones or two v two tournaments like that. So overall, you know, definitely definitely very disappointing. Definitely some things that I learned that that. I need to work on. Overall, uh, I'm a fan of the next chapter and uh, I'm grateful to participate. And I, I definitely want to get back. I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of these two. I know they both fought hard. Um, just got to cook this motherfucker soon. But that was a great game. Um, definitely which, going. Which game? <laughs> <laughs> I played overseas five to six years, you know what I'm saying? And within that, I ain't never been in a place like this. I ain't never been greeted and, and treated like I, like I have been in a place like this, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm in here with a team full of guys. We all comfortable. Everybody eat when they need to eat. They taking care of. We got food, drinks, everything. And, and we get to hoop. We get to do something we love. And it's, it's for a community of, of people who watch it. They, they ain't got to pay to watch it. They just turn on their YouTube and subscribe. To have, to have that, for me, is a blessing, you know what I'm saying? And I got a family at home. I got a girl, I got kids, and I got a nine to five. I, I, I took away my time from my family to come do this because this kind of experience is something that you don't get. You don't get this every day. You don't. You don't. You definitely don't get this. Next chap, call your phone, boy. You better pick it up, boy. boy. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, boy. boy you boy. better pick it up. My experience in the next chapter, um, just seeing how much is put into this and how much is given back to us as the Hoopers. Um, you know, we are the entertainment, but they are the ones setting this up. I was just telling, you know, my girl, like. I'm in a mansion, I'm hooping, got a massage, you know, like we're, 
we're basically living almost like an NBA player, like the almost closest thing you can get to it. Coming from where I come from, you don't get opportunities like this. I've been overlooked my whole life, like I'm a 5 eight guard. <laughs> so it's like my whole entire life, I've never really been given an opportunity and Next Chapter took that chance on me and it's like, it wasn't, we just met him, so we're gonna treat him different. Like, it's literally a family here. It's not no one higher than the next person. No matter who you are, your record, anything, they treat you like a family. Being a player in the next chapter is just like, it's just fun, man. It's so different. The last five months I've been forced to just only strictly be on the producing side and like the coaching side and now that there's a fan base like a large fan base that like really looks forward to these games we got stats we're really turning it into something real uh step by step every season just continually gets better and <laughs> he's just fart <laughs> man standing a crib that's worth i don't know how much you know what i'm saying um Right. It's just a blessing, man. It's a lot of people that want to be in our shoes that, you know what I'm saying, that possibly could. Me personally, I'm just grateful, thankful, you know what I'm saying, that I get this opportunity to showcase my talent in front of, I don't know how many people that be watching this, man, thousands of some viewers. I love it. To be honest, I try to, like, you know, act like I'm, I, 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 don't, I can't stay away from These are my guys, though, at the end of the day. This is more than a... Uh, a little check that we get. Like when I come here, I genuinely feel like I'm with my brothers and I feel connected with a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And I just appreciate experience more than anything. I'm young, so I understand that the world, it really slows down for you after a while. And the fact that I can do this and still live my life and still be able to get paid to hoop is a, it's a blessing. I don't think nobody will ever want to say they're not a part of next chapter, all of us. It's not, next chapter is really like a family. Everybody of us want to be here. Like, I think we all be waiting on that text, that group text. We doing this trip at this month, this time. Because as soon as the text come, it don't even take 30 seconds. And everybody that's in the chat say, yeah, I'm going to be there. And then when we get here, everybody ready to see each other. It's not like we dapping each other up, what's up? And we giving each other hugs, showing each other real love. Like, how you been? What you been up to? And that's what you really want to be a part of, something that's not like a business, it's a family. With the business side, I mean, you got dreams to hoop and get paid, I mean, you can do it on, on YouTube. Some of you may know, some of you don't know, like I've been knowing the twins for like a very long time. I've been knowing of them since uh, the sixth grade. And so they're, they were the reason why, uh, really, that I'm here and I want to get them to my brothers for real and they are the ones that really put me on to the next chapter because being honest I didn't personally know about it but watching their build I started to watch watch more and more I'm like dang this is this is cool but I didn't I didn't think that I would be in a position I am now to come and play basketball and get and get paid for it still you know I had uh, other aspirations and dreams but you know the man above had, had uh, other plans for me the experience was great man I get to like when I'm when I'm back home, I feel like it's the same competition all the time. I'm playing against the same people, but I probably played against your favorite player recently, and that's just dope to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like traveling and playing against other dogs is always the move. You know what I'm saying? We're competing and also building a brotherhood with people from all over the states. Everybody's goal is to make it to the league. We're obviously not there, and this is a new lane that I feel like people will want to be a part of. Next Chapter is just building a lane for people who don't have like the resources or just wanna hoop. Don't wanna be a part of the NBA or overseas life. They just wanna hoop. Next Chapter is changing the game. You feel me? They, they trying to make the 1v1 a professional basketball league like and make it at that NBA status one day. It's a way to make money and be in the States. You're not over. You're not over overseas, away from your family. It's basically like you playing like oh, overseas. You got an overseas contract, and you able to be with your family. You come out to hoop for a week. Like you can't ask for nothing better than that. Dope. So you get to play basketball, make money, travel the world, go to different state to state, stay in these big ass houses. Like you can't ask for no, no, no nothing better than that. So all the people behind the scenes appreciate y'all. I give me another, you know, avenue to do something that I love to do, but I'm also able to just money on the side helps me take, you know, put it towards my kids. Doing this, I get to, you know what I mean, come out here, hoop with.
And I was like, damn, yeah, I'm away from home and look at vacay, but I get the hoop, you know what I mean? Be, like I said, vibe with the guys and then. Yeah. Not, not a lot of people hoop and getting paid. Getting paid. I mean, not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of people are getting paid to play basketball. All right, so I'm just doing something that I enjoy to do and getting paid to do it. So. What other environment can you have? Like where you got like 33 guys living together in one like big ass house coming together, hanging out, but then you go on a court and you gotta basically be going to war, talking shit in each other's face, you know, ready for anything. Then you're done again, you go right back, living together, and you're hanging out again. And on, on top of all that, you gotta be like in front of YouTube. If you, if you get crossed over, if anything happens, like everyone's talking shit against you. So it's cool, like everyone to, to be here, all 24 guys, like we're going at each other, but at the same time, we all got each other's backs and we're saying, hey, all the stuff we're hearing outside, you know, it, it's about us, us 24, putting on a show for you guys, but also kind of like helping each other, help each other grow as, as players, but also like, you know, as creators and, and as people, so. Everybody can go for real. You know, people can be overseas, NBA, G League, NBA. Some people are, maybe could be in the league for real. Like, there's some talent out here. And I feel like Next Chapter helping everybody just showcase their talent and help them get to the next level and stuff like that. You know, I, f I definitely feel like it's high level basketball. Every time you step out on the court, you got to bring it. You know, if you're not bringing it, it's going to show. And, you know, you're going to get exposed. You know, they're not going to say it, but guys, what I can tell you is. If you're thinking about participating, or if you're a fan, then, then you should know this. All the membership money that you guys are donating uh, is going straight to the prize pool to help pay all the players, right? And, and to put us up in awesome places like this. It's been a year of operating, and all the bread's just been put right back in, right back into investing, into really building this thing. And the, the goal from what I've seen from these guys is just to make this as special uh, as possible. They really put in a lot of work uh, behind the scenes from getting the house to feeding us um, three meals a day, uh, transportation, getting us from place to place, uh, the house to the gym, uh, taking care of everybody's flights and still making sure everybody uh, is getting paid. It feels like um, I'm really a pro for real and I've never experienced that because coming straight out of college I went uh, straight to this and you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people want to be here, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, first time being on the season, flight paid for, big house like this, food, um, and getting paid to do what I love to do is, is the best feeling in the world, especially doing with people that are working just as hard as you to get to where they want to get to. You know, it doesn't have to be the NBA, it doesn't have to be D1, it doesn't have to be anything. As long as you can hoop, somebody's going to find you. So, you know, I'm glad they found a lot of these guys because it's great. I love it. If you get an opportunity to ever be on here, it can propel your hoop career. I feel like even my social media platform is taking off and it's consistently starting to build. We love 100,000. I'm trying to get like more. You feel me, Jay Lou? I'm trying to get on that level. And it's just next chapter can help you, you know, any hoop. I'm really just extremely thankful, bro. Like, I met up with the group of people that I did mostly because I think every hooper go through that stage, especially like, you know, probably in between colleges, coming out of high school. I think everybody got that stage, you always think like, damn, this could be over for me. You know what I'm saying? And then you mess around, run into an opportunity like this, and your whole career is start to get a little more juice in it. You know what I'm saying? So besides the money or anything, all that other stuff, bro, I think just being a part of something like this, being able to do what you love for every day, you know what I'm saying? And then you add something like you get paid for it too, shit. I'm all in, you know what I'm saying, 100%, <laughs> bro. I say just shout out to God, bro. All the people behind the scenes, man. Like, y'all don't know all the hard work that go into the stuff, or just the shit y'all get to watch production, man. Like, it's, it's easy for us to go suit up, go play basketball. We've been doing that for 20 plus years, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody over here, like, damn, they're 20, everybody 20 plus, bro. So, and it's just a different way, bro. Like, I never in my life growing up imagined I'm gonna be the dude on YouTube, like they looking up, doing that shit. And I'm getting paid for it, you know what I'm saying, so. I feel like this next chapter experience, it's a life-changing experience, you know. Coming in here, you got your brothers with you. We all click, like we family, we probably ain't even know each other for more than a year. But it feel like I knew Moon probably like three years or something. They didn't work by You know what I'm saying, we doing what we love, traveling the world and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying, that's the best feeling in the world. You, if you want to go to the NBA, You'll be doing the same thing, traveling, playing basketball. So that's what I want to do for that, keep playing basketball. Experience, you come in different mansions, you know, <laughs> chilling. You know what I'm saying? Still handling business. So I feel like 
it's like one of the best experiences. And then when you go home, everybody see you like, oh, when the next video dropping? Yeah, like, yeah. what happened? Everybody, yeah. like, <laughs> people, fans trying to DM me now. Did y'all beat Moon? <laughs> did y'all beat Rob Team? Like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I ain't finna tell you nothing, man. You gotta wait until <laughs> it drop. But yeah, man, it's just one of the best experiences that changed probably my life and just kept my hoop, you know what I'm saying? Hoop dreams going for real. You know, you might want to stop if you ain't in college or something like, oh, I ain't on no team for real, but that's trying to make you feel like a family and a team. So you should just to keep chasing your dreams for real. That's a fact. That was a fucking point. What you saying, man?